The Appalachian Center for the Arts is hosting auditions for their Pikeville 200 production, Sleep in Safety. Auditions will be held Monday, August 19th from 5 to 8 p.m., where actors will read a short monologue and do some cold reads for their part. The app is also seeking assistance from anyone who wants to volunteer as a stagehand to work behind the scenes. So auditions for Sleep and Safety are Monday the 19th at 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. It's going to consist of, for the actors, um, just uh, a monologue, 60 seconds or less, and uh, some cold reads. Now a cold read is just uh, getting a scene you've never seen before and reading it with a partner. It's nothing extreme. Now, uh, for as far as crew, if any, yeah, if anybody in the community wants to, to be a part of Sleep and Safety, sponsored by Pikeville 200, um, please, please uh, reach out. You can reach out to me at education at theapparts.org. Um, you can send us a message on Facebook. We're happy to have anybody who wants to, you know, open a curtain or help, <laughs> you know, help do hair um, or help build a set, you know, if, if people are so inclined. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. Sleep and Safety retells the death of Pikeville legend Octavia Hatcher with the purpose of entertaining and educating. Members of the app are confident their casting decisions will help bring the show to life. 90% of directing is casting and the the casting pool around Pikeville uh, and the surrounding areas is deep and wealthy. <laughs> you know, there's a wealth of talent here in this community um, in all facets, not just um, actors on stage, but you know, we have um, craftspeople and you know, just, just some really wonderful people who um, love to be a part of the community, which I feel is r really important, especially for um, a Pikeville 200 piece, which is all about the community. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.